In the last 24 hours, we have witnessed unprecedented scenes. Indian university campuses have launched an aggressive campaign against the government of the day. The reason is the Citizenship Amendment Bill, now signed into law by the President of India. It's a law. Until Friday, the protests were limited to India's northeastern states. They began even as the parliament was still debating the bill. But after it was passed by both the houses, the protests took a violent turn in the northeast. Several people died. Internet has been shut down in parts of the northeast. And there are reports of widespread arson. Over the weekend, the protests reached Delhi, the national capital. Students at the Jamia Millia Islamia University began protesting the new law. But for entirely different reasons. The singling out of Muslim immigrants. Soon the agitation got out of hand and here is what happened. It began on Friday, in fact. 27 people were detained. That's when a protest broke outside the campus. Reports say that students of Jamia University and local residents were involved. On Sunday, this protest continued and the crowd swelled. Reports said the protesters were planning to march to the parliament, but at around 7 o'clock in the evening, violence broke out. Delhi police stormed the campus. Videos on social media showed students running for cover. Reports say the cops fired tear gas shells inside the library. Outside, a bus was set on fire. It is not yet clear who was behind this. There were rumors of the police being involved. A video started doing the rounds on social media, suggesting as much. Then university officials said that people from outside the campus, locals in Jamia Nagar, set the bus on fire. The images fanned passions. Some more clips from the evening show students being taken out of campus with their hands in the air. The vice chancellor of Jamia University says the police did not seek permission before entering the premises. Here is the police's justification. Social media pe firing ke bhi videos chal rahe the. Isme bilkul firing nahi hui hai, kyunki wohi main aapko fir batana taunga. Being a professional force, Delhi police ne minimum force use kiya hai, aur us samay jo hamara staff tha, inke paas arms vagera bhi nahi the. Jitna minimum force hai, utna hi humne use kiya. The protests continued today with students from across India joining in. Last evening, the Aligarh Muslim University witnessed similar scenes. Today, there were protests on more than 10 campuses. It's happening all across India. And through the day, pictures have been pouring in of students taking to the streets. Most of them were out to support the students at Jamia. Many were also critical of the new citizenship amendment law. The Prime Minister of India had issued a word of caution to the protesters. Here is what he said when he was campaigning in Jharkhand over the weekend. The Congress wale aur uske saathi kya kar rahe? Ho halla macha rahe? Tufan khada kar rahe? Aur unki baat chalti nahi hai? To aag jani phela rahe? भाइयों बहनों ये जो आग लगा रहे हैं टीवी पे उनके जो दृश्य आ रहे हैं ये आग लगाने वाले कौन हैं वो उनके कपड़ों से ही पता चल जाता है पर आफ्टर द वायलेंट इवेंट्स ऑन संडे द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपील फॉर काम ऑन ट्विटर ही डिस्क्राइब द वायलेंस एज कोट एंड कोट अनफॉर्चुनेट एंड डीपली डिस्ट्रेसिंग he said that vested interest groups cannot be allowed to divide people and create disturbance. The opposition is using this opportunity to try to corner the government. Many leaders from opposition parties also took to the streets today. In West Bengal, Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee led a march against the citizenship law. She even dared the center to dismiss her government. She has refused to enforce this controversial law in her state. Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vadra was also out on the street. She was seen alongside other party leaders at the India Gate in Delhi, but other leaders from her family, the Gandhi family, were missing in action. The focus, though, remains on the students. Why are they out on the streets? What do they want? Several students are demanding a complete rollback of the Citizenship Amendment Act, CAA. Is it even possible? And will the government pay heed to these demands? So far, the government has not shown any signs that it will buckle. The action now shifts to the Supreme Court of India. 
It will hear pleas challenging the new law on Wednesday. A batch of petitions has been filed. Earlier today, the Apex Court also heard pleas against the alleged police brutality at Jamia University. The pleas were filed by a group of senior lawyers. They asked Chief Justice S.A. Bobde to take so more to cognizance of the violence. The Chief Justice first wanted the violence to stop. The Supreme Court will hear this case tomorrow.